Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Byte. I'm Corey Nockreiner. Today's story is March Patch Tuesday. If you're a Microsoft administrator, Patch Tuesday or Microsoft Tuesday, which is the second week of every month, has probably become pretty predictable and almost rote. However, patching is one of the most practical, important things you can do to improve your security posture. By patching, you're going to avoid many of the exploits that actually spread in the wild. Anyways, let's jump into this month's Patch Tuesday. On the Microsoft side of things, Microsoft released 13 security bulletins fixing many security vulnerabilities, five of them rated as critical. The flaws fix problems in Windows, both of the browsers, Internet Explorer and Edge, Office and its components, as well as the .NET framework. I won't go into any of these vulnerabilities in a lot of detail since there's a ton of them, but do know there's at least eight remote code execution vulnerabilities. This means if people can get you to visit malicious websites, or if they could get you to interact with malicious documents or media files, they could exploit these flaws to execute code with your system privilege. Privileges. And by the way, Microsoft also fixed a number of elevation of privilege flaws that might also allow the attacker to gain full system privileges on your computers. Long story short, if you're a Microsoft administrator that uses Windows, Microsoft's browsers, the .NET framework, or Office, you're going to want to go and check out these updates and definitely test and deploy them as soon as you can. Now for the Adobe side of things, Adobe released two security advisories. One of them fixes a number of security flaws in Reader and Acrobat, while the other fixes flaws in something they call digital editions, which is their ebook reader. I believe tons of people out there use Adobe Reader, so if you do use Reader, I really recommend you get those updates as well. One final note, although it wasn't released today, Adobe hinted that there will be a Flash update coming into later days, so if you use Flash, look for that update as well. And again, as rote and boring as Microsoft Patch Day might seem since it happens so regularly, do remember it's very important. Patching your systems is one of the best ways to keep your network secure. That's it for today's story. Thank you for watching.